Bleach bypass, also known as skip bleach or silver retention, is an optical effect that entails either the partial or complete skipping of the bleaching function during the processing of a color film. By doing this, the silver is retained in the emulsion, along with the color dyes. All right, I'm going to show you two ways to make the bleach bypass effect. The first method is the way I've always done it, and you can do it in Final Cut Pro or you can do it in After Effects. The second method is the way I came across on the Creative Cow forums. Now you can only do that one in After Effects, so I'm going to show you these two methods and both in After Effects. So what we've got is this footage from a music video that I shot, and we want to select the footage and drag it into a new comp. And you can see it's pretty grainy, there's a lot of green in it, um, it was shot on 16mm, so we're just going to clean that up and give it a bit of a, a bleach bypass look. So the first thing we want to do is duplicate the layer, and we want to pull all the saturation, all the colour, out. So we go up into colour correction, hue and saturation, and on the master saturation slider we just drag that all the way down. So we've got our black and white image. Now the second thing we want to do is multiply the colour values or the lack of colour values now from that image and put them into the second. So we change the blend mode to multiply and it's too dark. So we press T to bring up the opacity and we just pull that back to about, well this image about 63, 64% and that's looking pretty good. That's a pretty good bleach bypass but I think we can make it a little bit better just by playing with the contrast of the bottom image. So I'm going to select the bottom layer go up into colour correction and take my curves filter. Now in the curves on the RGB channel we're just going to make a nice little S bend. Looks pretty cool and then I might just pull a little bit of green out as well. Okay the bleach bypass is all about silver retention and you can see here that we've really highlighted the whites and blackened the blacks and pulled the green out and it's giving it a really nice sheen. The second method, the method that I found on the Creative Cow forums, is a little bit different and only involves the one layer. Again, we grab our image, drag it into a new comp, select the layer and we go into Channel Calculations. So if we open up our effects on the input layer and it's RGBA, that's what we want, we open up the second source. And this is why we don't need to duplicate because we can tell it to manipulate itself. So we've set that to layer one. In the second layer channel, we want to take the red channel and we want to push the opacity to get our silver look. So that's pretty cool. Now again, we want to grab our curves to put some contrast back in. Color correction, curves, RGB channel, create our S-Bend. a lot more silver, maybe pull out a little bit of this red and maybe a little bit of green. So there you go, it's probably a little bit quicker the second way to my way, but you can only do it in After Effects because Final Cut doesn't have that calculations filter. So let's just have a look at the three again. We've got the original, version one, version two. So you can see there's a little bit of difference between the two ways. You just choose whichever way you think works best for you. Thank you.